So here I am in the garage. Why? Well, I'm going to do what I wanted to do many years ago and make myself a little office out here. But to do so, I've got to remove a lot of stuff first. So let's have a look. Boxes of stuff I'm going to go through. More boxes of stuff I'm going to go through. Starting with this one. thought I'd lost this. I had to touch up the base, but no, that's cool. I found it again. I love my Batman stuff. I'll look down in there. What's in there? Oh, Deep Space Nine, some boxes. <gasps> Robbie the Robot. Oh dear. That's from Supernova 2010. Oh, there's another one. Riding, well, Supernova and Madman cosplay by the look of it. Yes. Oh, back in the days when pop culture was considered to be just things by Josh Whedon. <laughs> My God. And welcome to day two of cleaning out the garage, or as I've been calling it, creating an office in the garage. It's cold, so enthusiasm is rather low. Found a lot of stuff yesterday, going to find a lot more today. So let's go.
Oh, I'm not looking forward to this part. <laughs> Once again, finding a lot of stuff that I forgot I had, and it's, oh, don't know where that was, but uh, it's just all spread out everywhere. <laughs> so much stuff, so much stuff. part of this is moving boxes from one side to the other side so I can get stuff what I want to go where to go where and things falling over oh now I know I haven't done this before it's a pain in the ass <laughs> I'm sweating like a pig and it's as cold as anything but it's getting there once I get this section done then I can start moving other things back in unpacking boxes finding stuff I thought I'd lost coming out a hell of a lot too all right back to it <laughs> Breaks over, going back out to the garage. It's not going to be all finished today. That's why there's three, day one, two, and three. Should be finished tomorrow. Anyway, garage, here I come. bought in the ebay.com.au Australia's online marketplace bags ah here we go now I know what it is they were from Collectomania which is now Collecticon this was, was when Lindsay owned it I'll show you there's the bag you see it's got Collectomania on the of it up there it's like a newsletter and i've got hundreds of them <laughs> empty bags uh, i just don't understand digression here something I've been looking for for quite a while and now I've found these are all the autographs I've picked up over the, the years uh, the pictures that you can see they're there that's my dad at the front and that's my grandfather on my mum's side 
at the back. Oop, I got the shakes again. Uh, okay, let's, let's see. Autographs, 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 autographs. This is a certificate of authenticity for The Rock. Yes, terrible movie. Now, the one and only Marta Kristen. My God, the amount of time I spent with that woman when she came to Australia twice was great. Wonderful lady. And she signed one for Chris as well. Did not get to meet Angela Cartwright, but an associate of mine got me the autograph. So, thank you. And... Oh, now, James Doohan, I've met. I've got the photos elsewhere, though. Didn't actually get a signed one from him. It's a signed Batman and Robin from 1949. And it's actually signed by Robin. John Duncan. Or as he was in the movie, Johnny Duncan. Ah, the mighty meatloaf. How we stood out in the rain for about half an hour to an hour, waiting for him to come out. And he just walked right along the line, quite a lengthy line, signing everybody's uh, memorabilia. And he was knackered. He was knackered. Ah, uh, Mark Singer. First time I ever worked at a convention and I got to meet Mark Singer was not a great time. Uh, he was very good. We were allowed to get photos, but we had to wait till the end of the day. And so I waited till the end of the day, walked up, and the camera person said, oh, no, you can't. And Mark Singer goes, no, 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 he can. Let him come over. So I did. So that was the photo. And that must have been like the fifth or sixth photo because they, the lights kept reflecting off my glasses. And Mark said, no, we're going to get it till it's right. So we did. Oh, and there's the man himself from the Beastmaster. He was so great. So great to talk to. Uh, now, top one is Fraser Hines from Doctor Who, the second Doctor's companion, playing Jamie. Great guy. We were uh, rocking the cuffed collars and cuffs. <laughs> and down below is Bernie, uh, Bernie Kaplan. Copeland? Oh, I can't remember. I think it's Kaplan from, well, The Love Boat, but he was also Siegfried in Get Smart. And that's another incident where I went to get a photo and someone said, well, you can't. And Bernie came up and said, yeah, he can, and did. Uh, the voice of Squidward. Oh, I've got another one of those inside too somewhere. Two voice artists. Can't remember the names, but anyway. And the oh Steve Bloom, yeah. I forgot about him. Another voice artist. Nice guy actually. He talked to me for a little while, which was great. Ah uh, very first Star Trek convention I ever went to. I went as part of a Lost in Space group. And this shows, this is the end of what happened when the one of the MCs got offended by a joke we made at him. And he kept putting us back later and later and later to get dinner and everything. And then he went and told the president of the Lost in Space Australia Club that we were saying bad shit about him. When we found this out, I decided... I would, <laughs> I gave him a framed original of this. I drew this, um, as you can see, 1993. That was the table we'll never forget. Anyway, back to cleaning.
Uh, my son has a warped sense of humour, which I'm proud of. Somehow he got one of these. This is an Australian flag. I won't open it up. It should be yeah, fairly obvious. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nope, nope. Yeah. It's a standard Aussie flag. Uh, Union Jack on it, yeah, the stars. But he also has, a, as I said, he has a wicked sense of humour. I'm not going to open that one up for you because it would get me banned from the internet, I think. Right. When he gave it to me as a present, he'd been in uh, Queensland and he came back with it. And he just said, Dad, you love Nazis and you love werewolves. And I said, well, I don't actually love Nazis, but yeah. As a horror genre, werewolf eating Nazis, or it's not a bad idea. So that might give you an idea of what that flag is. Again, not going to open it up. Oh, this is the last run for the day. Just going to make it so we can get in the laundry. And then I come back out tomorrow and the car's here and I'll fill the boot up, take it all away. Found two more things that I thought I'd lost, and they're both caps from the old Lisa days, Lost in Space Australia days. Marta Kristen has signed both of them. Or oh, has she? No, she hasn't. Marta signed one, and Bob May and Dick Tufeld, who were together, the robot, signed one. Oh no, man's gone blind. Okay, Marta signed both of them. There is a plain black Lost in Space cap, which she signed on the peak. The other one is an Alpha Control cap, and she signed the Colonization Mission patch, while Bob May and Dick Tufeld signed the peak, and so did Mark Goddard. Oh, out of out of the four people on that cap, Marta's the only one left. Oh my. There's Marta's signature in there. There's Bobby and Dick and Mark. And Marta's on her own. Well, that's it. I'm finished for the day. I am absolutely knackered. But so much there has to go tomorrow, which is good. Tomorrow is another day. And so, day three begins. Hopefully, the majority will be done today. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so much fun. Hating this garage already. <laughs> this is a bag of plastic bags. Yes. A most important bag is a bag of plastic bags.
Okay, still a bit to do, but essentially it's getting there. See this empty, big empty space now? How about that, eh? Look at the back of the car. <laughs> oh, the visit is out. Yeah. I've got to go into that section there, as I said, and cannibalize some boxes and then build it up again. But I need smaller boxes like those ones there. And there's that one there which has nothing in it. Plus I've got these ones over here. Which also have nothing in it. But yeah, it's getting there. Well, it's one o'clock. And we're done. The little office area I want still needs to be cleaned out. But uh, we've got through to so much stuff. It's great. But I'm knackered. Anyways, when I have the office set up, I will do some more videoing. Talk to you then.